ready to eat my dust, nutmeg. Oh, yeah? Your car couldn't be eggs. You beat by a mile. Oh, yeah? I can beat you any day of the week. You couldn't beat my dog. <laughs> oh, yeah? You couldn't beat my cat. <laughs> well, your cat couldn't beat my dog. Why don't we just settle this with another race? Nah, I, I wouldn't want to show him up in front of everybody. Besides, it's getting late, and uh, I, I, I want to see a cowboy movie that's on in a few minutes, and uh, and my mom's having company over, and uh, if I have to take the coach and, and maybe make ice cubes. Uh, so I'll see you later. Hey, it's too bad about the ice cubes. They ought to go nicely with Muggsy's cold feet. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just too bad they couldn't run that race again. Would have been nice to see Iggy wipe the track with your pea-brained owner. What? You hoi, Amy. Even I could beat Muggsy. Oh, yeah? Well, if I had a car... So build one. What? You build a car, I'll build a car. We'll meet here tomorrow and race. What's the action? I understand you dogs are kind of useful for uh, fetching newspapers and slippers. Uh, how about if I win, you bring me my slippers uh, and a newspaper for a month? Huh? What if I win? I'll scratch your back anytime you want for a month. Did you hear that? They're gonna race, and if Spike wins, Heathcliff has to scratch his back. I like to have my back scratched. But if the winner's a cat, a paper and slippers are where it's at. I'd sure like some slippers. Put that away. Don't you guys understand? If we win that race, we get the scratch, the newspaper, and the slippers. Hey, but we can't play, cause Riff Raff's away. Who needs him? We'll build a car. Not bad. This soapbox car is probably 10 years ahead of anything else on the hill. I'm gonna need some materials, though. Yeah, but where can I get a front end like this? <laughs> Let Heathcliff work all day and all night on his car. I'm just gonna paint Muggsy's another color. That dumb cat will never know the difference. <laughs> Heathcliff, Heathcliff, Heathcliff. Did you really think I'd fall for that old trick? You ought to know by now that you've got to get up pretty early to put one over on me. Yep, I'm real disappointed in you, Heathcliff. I thought you were smarter than this. Huh? Yeah, I know. Wheels. I've got to have really good wheels. Perfect. We got the parts for your super car. Uh, yeah, lots of goodies. <laughs> What is this for? Uh, that's so you know what time it is when you win the race. How come it's not picking? You can't hear a thing because it's got a broken spring. Then what good is it? Uh, you'll never be late. And where on earth did you find those? 
at the airport. It almost broke his back when he couldn't find a jack. Then how did you... When the plane left the strip, it was in Mungo's grip. Uh, they put those suckers on real tight, too. Great, but what am I gonna do with them? If I put them on the cart, I'm gonna be up so high, I'll get a nosebleed. Oh, yeah. We gotta get some better material. That's prime lumber. for steering. <laughs> Nothing can beat me. I'm driving a tank. I'm beat. Time to hit the sack. Like what? He's dead. Shut up and hand me the tool. No way! I couldn't be gladder Hector put up a ladder. You're on my head, you idiot. Oh, Mungo, buddy, this ain't no ladder made of wood. It's Hector's head, but it's just as good. Thanks, Hector. <laughs> Don't mention it. Hey, nice car. Looks a lot like Muggsy's. Are you calling me a cheater? Me? Never. My car can beat anything. Anything but the Hector Hurricane. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a doghouse on wheels. Start any second, oil, 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 Great idea. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. What's happening? This car was a tank. Hey, Wordsworth, Heathcliff's car is coming apart. You dumb cat, we did that. So that's it. I've been sabotaged. You guys both cheated. So what? Yeah, we're gonna make mincemeat out of here. Let's hit them together. Hey, no fair! Bad dog. Gotta keep these guys in line. <laughs> Come on, boy. Fetch the stick. <laughs> he loves to play with his ball. If you notice your pooch has no energy and doesn't want to play, it might be getting sick. A dry nose and appetite loss are other signs. So the best thing to do is take the pooch to the vet. Uh, you'll both feel better. <laughs> 